What's up? This is Squad 2440. We're following some major sounding videos. Today we'll be delivering construction site items to the job site here on the mowing map. Today we'll be delivering a few containers full of equipment, an outhouse diesel tank generator, and a container shop, which is going to be pretty cool. We'll be using two different truck and trailer setups, which should also be pretty helpful. And we will be using the Clark forklift. So what we'll be doing first is bringing over the first load, which is the Kenworth with a flatbed trailer, and it has both containers. Then we'll be putting this outhouse up top top onto it. So we'll be kind of hopping into the Clark forklift, kind of moving our forks underneath this outhouse, and it looks like we already do have it. So we'll be kind of backing up and loading on, and this is pretty exciting because these are some pretty new mods to farming Simulator 17, which is exciting uh, being able to use them. So we'll kind of do this, and some of these you could actually use chains and like a crane, but I think that some of these uh, we will not need to, but the trailer over here, guys, there is a crane on it, which we will be using. So two different uh, sacks we will be kind of switching between the forklift and also the crane but as you guys can see we got the truck loaded up which is pretty exciting and in the last video of this job we did remove all of the trees so now we are able to place all of these so next up we'll be hopping into the Kenworth uh, day cab one of my favorite trucks and we'll be making our way over to the job site and since uh, it's just a little bit of grass there we'll kind of cut through that and then, like we're saying I'm very excited to deliver it in this Kenworth definitely will do a pretty good job but I do not believe that these do lock down to the trailer that I am using so we'll have to be pretty careful as we kind of make our way over there but I would like to thank each and every one of you for the continued support on the daily content you guys are awesome with all of the positive feedback and you guys mean a lot to me with all the positive feedback video ideas and everything like that so as you guys can see I mean it's shifting around just a little bit on us but overall I am driving pretty slowly especially with a heavy load you do not want to drive too fast on some smaller town roads we'll take this turn just just a little bit fast kind of a reposition everything if it was and it looks like it, it did not move which is pretty helpful for us but we'll be using the forklift and like we're saying I did try to use a crane but the crane will not kind of lift it which is a little interesting but I mean this trailer is fully loaded and inside the containers there is a needed equipment for the foundation build and a few other things like that then we'll have to do another one delivering some wood and everything like that but having this outhouse will also make this a pretty realistic area and I think the last one will be to kind of set up a fence around it to make sure nobody kind of comes into that construction site so I might look into that as you guys can see, we are just about to arrive here at the site. I did rearrange a lot of equipment, giving us a lot more room to kind of work around with. And since, I mean, the ground is frozen, I do not want to kind of drive on it just in case something was to happen. So we kind of just parking here on the side road just like this. You guys can see that we do have the forklift. So we'll kind of turn this off. And one of the biggest reasons why I did choose this uh, forklift today is the adjustable forks. Very easy to do uh, using the controls. And and it's just hydraulically uh, moving, which is pretty helpful. So we'll first kind of take the outhouse off, and I think we'll kind of put it over there right behind us and right behind that utility trailer. I think that's a perfect area for us. And I think we'll kind of start out with the outhouse. We'll kind of come around here. It looks like it did shift on us. We'll turn our hazard lights and our beacon lights on. And like we're saying, this is a very interesting delivering video, kind of delivering very needed supplies and items. And these, like I was saying, are pretty cool. And shout out to the mod creators for it, and uh, overall pretty nice done. I do have a lot of very cool videos coming to the channel, so stay tuned for all of them. We do actually, whoa, I, I do need to lower this down and tilt it all the way. I really do like this view, almost like you attach a camera to it, which is pretty cool. Looks like a little too much. We'll have to back up, readjust, and this might be a little bit of a longer video, kind of getting everything into position, but it looks like we should be able to lift this one up and take a look at that, guys. We'll kind of tilt it back and lift it back up. So we did a pretty good job taking this one off. And this might take us just a little bit of time to do. But it is also winter time. We do have a few inches of ground. We do have a few inches of snow on the ground, which is very exciting. Hopefully we do get a few blizzards and a lot of snow this season. So we could uh, make a lot of money snow plowing and do a lot of videos with it, which should be pretty cool. We'll lower this down. And as you guys can see, we got the outhouse delivered, which is pretty exciting. Next up, we'll be kind of making our way back over there. And then these containers, I think we'll kind of all put them in like a very similar area. But I think we'll put them probably right behind the excavators. So next up, we'll get this one. Now this one is a bit tricky since 
ones. Uh, we do have to expand the forks, and let's take a look. Is that going to be good? Looks like that's just about good, and we have to line this up now. I really do enjoy doing these delivering videos. These are a lot of fun, and they are pretty cool. So as you guys can see, we got it. Now we'll have to kind of drive forward, and it looks like these are going to be locking. That's pretty good that this trailer uh, locking script did work, because that's awesome that it did. Next up, we'll unlock it. Yeah, we just saw them move. That's perfect. I was very worried that they might have fallen off, but it looks like they did not, which is pretty helpful. We'll kind of lift this up, and this is a bit heavy, so we do have to be pretty careful. It looks like we need to get our forks uh, kind of a further in. We'll definitely have to see if that's possible. If not, let's see. Is it going to fall? We'll have to lower it down. Looks like it's actually doing a pretty good job. And we do have our forks in just a little bit. But I really do like this uh, construction site items. They are very nicely done. A lot of detail was put into each one of them, which is pretty exciting. And this forklift has a very nice cab. Uh, we have the heat on since it is winter, which is pretty helpful. So I think we're going to position it just like this. And it did pretty much fall off the forks. Not the best thing, but we still made do with it and looks like it now wants to kind of slide around on us we'll kind of uh, do some harsh braking a, a, a few times and it should help us as you guys can see we got that one off which is pretty helpful I did kind of have to extend this just a little bit and then I think we'll kind of rotate it just a little bit touch the corner and if we do it slow enough we should not be damaging it so as you guys can see we got that one delivered which is pretty cool we have one more on this truck but as you guys can see let's see if we could open up the doors because I do know like I was saying that you can add chains to them if you want to use a crane and let's see can you open up these doors I'm not sure but you could actually walk inside that's actually going to be pretty cool if you could uh, put something inside and transport it this way that would be awesome but next up we'll be getting this one this is very heavy it's full of uh, items and equipment for the foundation build which we will be excavating within the next few days we'll be kind of coming over here and uh, having these adjustable forks is very helpful and uh, this is m overall my favorite forklift because it has a nice uh, cabin area for us, especially during this time of the season. So it looks like we do have to readjust a few times. We'll go to this camera view, and uh, at low speeds, this is a good view. We'll tilt this down, kind of drive forward, and I do not want to have it tilted down too, too much. So, uh, still kind of learning how to use this, and wow, hopefully we do not push this off, but we'll give it a try. And as you guys can see, it looks like we are running into a bit of a problem here. We are unable to lift it off, and I did kind of test it before to make sure that we could do it with a forklift. So if not, we'll kind of just grab it right underneath the container. Might not be as safe, but I think we'll just do it that way because it looks like we might run into a bit of a problem there. So we'll kind of lift it up this way, drive forward, and it looks like we do have uh, not the entire thing underneath. So yeah, we definitely have to just get it by the forks. But we did kind of center it, make sure that that's fixed. We'll lower this down to the ground, and that's interesting why it's not exactly working. As you guys can see, looks like we now got it, which is very helpful for us. And wow, that's going to be pretty helpful, and make sure that it's not going to move around. So it looks like the forks aren't all the way underneath, so we'll definitely have to kind of lower it down here in the street, all the way to the ground, and drive forward just a little bit. But overall, like I was saying, guys, I do appreciate all of the support on the daily content, and I'm very excited for this series. We've done many different series uh, kind of building with a construction company, but this one is a very nice one because we are doing many firsts, and as you guys can see, this is one of them. So this one will go actually probably in between uh, both if we could probably do it but I think we'll kind of just put it like this we could always just use the excavator or even any of the equipment here to kind of push it into place which I think we'll be doing so we'll kind of come over here and this took us quite a long time to do this one section which is okay I uh, do not really mind that so we'll kind of uh Looks like we are able to push it forward, and that looks to be good just about there. I do have the doors kind of facing this way, which is pretty helpful for us. And I think uh, next up, we'll be kind of hopping over there into the truck, moving it to the side. We are now moving the Kenworth off to the side road, and then I will be bringing it back over to the shop later on today. But the next load, we'll actually have to kind of drive onto this uh, snow, and hopefully we do not get stuck. But we do have to switch to the forklift to be able to kind of switch over there to the other one. 
As you guys can see, we made it back over here, and the last thing we do have to load is this diesel tank, and I think that the F650 gas tank, diesel tank, was not large enough, so I did kind of order that. And then off to our right, you guys can see the Ram pickup truck, which I did drive over at the start of today, but today was so busy, I thought that we'll kind of uh, start it off uh, once we do arrive here, which uh, we did. And this generator does not have forks. Uh, position for us. That's why we are going to be using this crane. And this uh, gas tank is going to be going in. Alright guys, so we are now uh we are now unfolding this crane so we can lift up this diesel tank and put it in between the generator, which is going to be pretty exciting. We do actually have to hop out and add the chains to it. And like we're saying, this is a very detailed construction pack, which is pretty exciting. And I was going to be using a much larger crane, but I was unable to kind of get it to work and uh, be able to lift things. But, oh, take a look at that, guys. This slides. That's pretty cool. How it slides around just like that. But next up, we have to kind of pull this in, and I think that it would be nice for us to rotate this let's see looks like we are able to rotate it guys I mean that's some awesome stuff that's almost like a construction simulator so let me know should we do a construction sim video I think that that'll be a pretty cool thing to do but next up we'll kind of lift this up and almost kind of loaded this up already wow pretty fast and we are pretty efficient so next up we I want to spin this around let's see we could spin it and it looks like we do have it spun around just enough and wow we are moving that generator a little too much as you guys can see, we are now putting this down into position. We did move the generator a little too much uh, for my liking, but overall it should be okay. We disconnecting that, and take a look at that, guys. It really does sit level, and I think the generator should be okay. Actually, no, it looks like we will have to readjust it, which is okay. And then we'll, when we do hop out, we will be kind of readjusting uh, the chains on that also. So, I mean, this is a bit of a challenge sometimes. Uh, when you do kind of move things around on the trailer, you, you touch others which causes us to pretty much have to remove it. So next up, we'll kind of hop up here onto the trailer, and we do have to kind of remove those chains, but let's see, can we add these? Take a look at that, guys. I think since we'll be uh, kind of just taking these off the trailer momentarily, I think we'll just kind of keep the chains up. But take a look at that, guys. We readjusted that, which is perfect, and we'll lower this crane back down. If you guys do have any cool video ideas, let me know down below in the comments. I really do enjoy this delivering series. It's a very cool series where we do go on different maps, everything like that. So next up, we'll be kind of lifting both stabilizers up. You could uh, choose which one you do want to kind of work with, which is pretty helpful. But as you guys can see, we do have the chains up, and we'll just have to kind of go along with those since if I think we'll have a bit of trouble taking those off. But as you guys can see, I mean, this is one very cool truck, awesome first-person view. And I really do like changing up the trucks and equipment we use throughout each and every single video. That's why you guys see me use different brands and different vehicles that I do not usually use all of the time. And that's also one of the biggest reasons why I continue to do upgrade videos and moving videos, kind of changing up the scenarios and kind of the shops to kind of make it more interesting, if you would say. But as you guys can see, nothing really is moving here on the trailer, which is good news for us. And this might be a bit of a longer video compared to my normal uh, lanes but overall I really do like this a mod and I do appreciate the modders for making it and as you guys can see it looks like they are sliding around so we do have to be pretty careful and we actually want the generator kind of to go right next to this shop that we are placing and yes we could go inside it open up the door and a few things like that which is pretty awesome but this trailer I did feature in a mod review if you guys would like to go check it out we have arrived back here at the construction site to deliver all of these materials and like I was saying I think we'll kind of just put them over here so this looks to be good just about here and we actually have to find a pretty good place for the diesel tank, and I think we'll uh, kind of just go right here. So next up, we'll kind of uh, unfold that, and I think we'll kind of lift the generator up right now, which should not be that uh, hard. And I think that it would have been pretty cool if there was a camera on this uh, crane. That would have been awesome. And I do have to get the no collision camera to prevent the camera from freaking out, as you guys can see. As you guys can see, we are trying to do it. Looks like we are almost into position. We are now attached to the generator. So as we do lift it up, this actually will slide around on us, which is pretty helpful. We'll lift this up right over that diesel tank. We do have to be pretty careful for it since that is full of diesel. And I would think that that's going to be pretty helpful, even though we do have the F650 here. So as you guys can see, that is good right about there. We'll have to take the chains off towards the end of today. Next up, we'll kind of swing around and get the shop in place. 
And I think the shop, I think we actually have to move this truck just a little bit. Up next, we'll be putting this shop into place, and I actually just had to turn off the locking script on the trailer so that we would be able to lift this up without any problems, which is pretty helpful. And like we're saying, we will just kind of re adjust these on the ground, especially with a forklift, it's a bit easier since uh, we are limited on movements with this crane. But as you guys can see, we got that one down onto the ground. The last one is this diesel tank. And then, I mean, like we're saying, a pretty epic video delivering these. And I really do like it a lot. And uh, credits go out to the craters. But we'll kind of rotate back around here. And using a Xbox controller is very, very helpful when using cranes, especially in farming sim. All of our equipment does take a lot of diesel. That's kind of why I decided to upgrade us to this. And it looks like we are running into the problem once again. So it looks like we do have to unlock the trailer. Alright, I just had to unlock the trailer, so we'll be kind of moving this down into place, and since we do run of a lot of equipment here on the job site, I decided that it would be best for us to get our own diesel tank, and not just to run it off of the F650. So that's pretty much it for the delivering video, guys. I will be just rearranging it here off camera. We'll kind of take this truck and bring it in. We'll now... We are now moving this truck off and onto the side road, but today was very successful. We got everything into place, which is perfect. And then the next video you guys will be seeing will be us excavating for the foundation. Then we'll be taking the supplies out of here. So we'll kind of come over here and we'll just remove all of the chains. As you guys can see, it's pretty easy to do. You walk up and you just remove them once you find the position. And looks like one of them um, over here was on, but no longer. We'll uh, come over here, take that one off. So hope you guys enjoyed today's delivering video, delivering these construction site items over here to the job site of building the shop. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and subscribe for more.